Well, hello everyone. About a year ago, I had a video and we discussed just a few of the reasons why air conditioners are so inefficient. Well, today, not only do I want to discuss, but I actually want to start a project of making a more efficient air conditioner. Now, when it comes to making air conditioners more efficient, the industry right now is pretty well fixed on one technology, and that is variable speed compression technology. Don't get me wrong. If you've seen this channel before, you know that I have a variable speed heat pump that I've put together and it's in the house, and it does work well. However, variable speed technology is not without its limitations. Primarily, the limitation is the compression only becomes more efficient when the compressor is operating at less than its normally rated speed, which is okay in most situations, because in most situations, full capacity isn't needed all the time. So the compressor speed can be reduced and the efficiency can go up most of the time but not all times. Sometimes more capacity is needed and that's where the efficiency falls. This is not only because the speed of the compression is higher, you have more friction, more losses, but also because the variable frequency driving the electronics itself, at this point, they consume more energy and not less. The other real issues with variable speed technology is the variable frequency drive itself, the electronics running the variable speed compressor. You have to pay for the electronics, they're sensitive, and they make a lot of noise and interference. One technology to improve the efficiency of air conditioners that the manufacturers really aren't interested in right now is cascading technology, or basically two-stage compression. That is effectively one air conditioner cooling another. By using this method, we can make it so that the compressors don't have as big a pressure difference between their suction and their discharge, and this is key. The greater the difference in pressure between a compressor's suction and discharge, the more work and the less efficient the compressor actually is. So, with all that being said, I want to actually try to make this happen with an air conditioner. Now, I have a few window air conditioners to play with, and what I want to do, ultimately my goal, is to take one window unit and put two compressors in it, have two cycles in it, two refrigeration cycles in it, with a heat exchanger in the middle. That way, the compressors won't go from a low pressure all the way up to a high one. They'll work at a more intermediate one. In the cascade system, we talk about two cycles. One's usually referred to as a high temperature cycle, and one's usually referred to as a low temperature cycle. The high temperature cycle then will take an intermediate pressure and compress it up to a high pressure. Now the high pressure side of the high temperature cycle will be the condenser, which ultimately releases the heat into the atmosphere. Now, the intermediate pressure, or the suction side, of the high temperature cycle will be the evaporator, and that will be the heat exchanger. Now, this will, part will be key to getting heat from the low temperature cycle up to the high temperature cycle. Now, again, on the low temperature cycle, the discharge of that will be the condenser of the low temperature cycle, and that will also be in the heat exchanger. And finally, the suction side, the low side of the low temperature cycle, will be the evaporator, ultimately where heat's coming from. That will do our cooling. There are several reasons why manufacturers do not employ this technology currently in air conditioners. Because of the expense of the heat exchanger and the compressor and the difficulty of managing both cycles at once, they usually only use this when very low temperatures are required. So what I'm doing here, it doesn't have a good likelihood of working. The compressors really aren't designed to work with intermediate pressures on their suction side. That may cause a problem. And because we're actually moving more heat, we have to deal with the first law of thermodynamics. Basically, even though the compressors will be operating more efficiently, they're going to be moving a lot more refrigerant than they were designed to, especially the high temperature cycle. The discharge of it might get to a very high pressure. The condenser could overheat. Also, on the low temperature side, the evaporator is going to get much colder, and it could freeze over. Nonetheless, I want to try it, and I hope you guys will tune in and watch it. That will become the next video. So basically, in summary, guys, we're going to try to make a cascade air conditioner. Two air conditioners in one package, one cooling the next. It will be more efficient and more powerful. So tune in next video if you want to see us build it. Thanks for watching, guys.